Hey guys, we are here to look at my new stamp sets. I came out with four new stamp sets. They just came in this week. The first of the orders have already gone out and the birds are already sold out in the first batch of inventory, but more is on the way so you can continue to pre-order them. The link for my Etsy shops in the description below. The birds are by far the most popular so far. Um, the people who pre-order get pulled first from the inventory uh, that when it comes in before um, anything else. So just so you know. So if you order ahead of time, then basically I'm going to hold one for you out of the next batch. All right. So these are my sample sets. I haven't even, even unwrapped them yet. And this time I asked her to um, send me my samples clean mounted. Now when you get them, they will be unmounted. red rubber let me get all these open okay so this is um the material that my sets come on this is like a cardstock it's got a slick plastic back so these stamps will stick to the back um but when you get your sets, they will come unmounted. I'll get a set to show you. Here's a set of the girls. So they come unmounted red rubber. So you're going to need a sheet of easy mount foam to turn them into a cling mount stamp. So you stick the whole sheet of red rubber to a sheet of the foam and then you cut the stamps out. This is the most economical way for you to get all of these different designs. You get the whole set when you buy the, when you buy the stamps. And you'll get a picture in the front on just plain printer paper that shows you what all the designs are. I recommend laminating this and um, once you get all your stamps mounted and cut out, then you can use that laminated picture to stick your stamps to the back of like how these are on here. Yeah. Um, and I don't just trust that this is going to stick like this. I store my stamps in a binder. So I always put them into a plastic sleeve in the binder or if you store them into in a bin or a drawer. I do still, even though this is sticks pretty good, I recommend putting this in a sleeve. You could use the bag it comes in. Just cut the, sti the sticky part off. And I, pro I might do that. Um, I haven't decided yet. I right, literally, you just saw me open them. They came late yesterday. All right, so let's play with them, shall we? I have some tags and things to make for Happy Mail. I have a couple different things I want to do. So we might as well do it on camera. Um, now, the company that helps me manufacture the stamps Rubber Moon Stamps, um, and they sell some of their own stamps online, so you can go to Rubber Moon, Google Rubber Moon Stamps. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description below. You can go to their website and support them. Anyway, they helped me, and they took some of my birds, and they took three of my little birds, and they made a little birdie border. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So let's stamp the birdie border. I've been wanting to stamp the birdie border since I saw it in the, in the preview. <gasps> Look at that. How cute is that? Can you just imagine that on a journal page? That is so cute. <laughs> I love that. All right. You get a, um, a word on each one of the stamp sets. Let's see. Let's do this one. And then let's do the words that are on here. I think that'll work. Let's see if that'll fit on the tag. So the nice thing about having them cling mounted, if they're, um, this bird's a little big, if they're, um, if you have these words is that you can position them to see if they're going to fit. And if I was using bigger tags, it would be better. These tags are really little. It'd be easier. This is a bigger tag. Let's use this one. Yeah, because see, then I can put whatever kind of bird I want on there. Put a couple birds. Let's see. 
so you can rearrange the stamps until they fit on your whatever it is that you're stamping. Okay, I'm just like going overboard here with the birds. The birds are too cute. They're just too cute. Okay, that'll work, I think. It'll be close enough. We'll try it. What's the worst that could happen? So, I have quotes already rearranged, and then some of the sets have separate words. I'll show you. So there you go. Isn't that cute? I love that. My quote's a little crooked, but that's me, not the stamp. <laughs> that's, that's, that's me. User error. <laughs> I don't know what to say. User error. Okay. So we'll put all these back on here. Oops. Okay. So we also have these ones here that are inspired by uh, all the planner um, activities and um, art journaling things I've been doing for the past year or so really inspired this particular set of stamps. Now this set of stamps has individual words instead of a quote, um, which is nice. So you can pick one word or I, I, I put enough words on here. I can do it this way. That you, uh, there's a couple of really nice positive affirmation words, but there also is um, enough words on here that you could arrange. You are inspired. You are artistic. You are beautiful. Um, you could really customize kind of your own quote. Now, each set has different words in it. That was intentional. So if you want to, um, you can use words from each one of the sets and mix them up. Uh, some of these doodles on this particular set were in directly inspired by some of my daily doodles that I've done. Isn't that cool? I love that. Including the arrows. I did some of these daily doodles and went, hmm, you know, that would be a nice stamp. <laughs> That's Because I wasn't going to come out with four stamp sets all at the same time. <laughs> like, like, who does that? <laughs> I don't know. That's crazy. Now I'm using archival ink, so you definitely could stamp these and then let them dry and then come back with um, markers or crayons or watercolor paints or something and color them in. And these words are in my writing. That's my, actually my writing. So there's that one. And then we have, we'll do this one last. We have some of my doodle girls. And the doodle girls have a lot of words on them. Let's put one of the girls on a tag. And I don't do these kind of things on the computer. I actually hand draw them on paper and then I scan that in um, to my computer and email that copy of that drawing to the company that helps me, Rubber Moon. Oh, look at that. Love it. And they um, format it and do all the fancy computer gizmos stuff, but this is, they don't change the images too much. See, there are some words that are cursive and some that are printed. Uh, I want to do this. Let's see. Oops.
trying to decide. I want to do a quote. Let's do this one. I'm wanting to do that one. I don't know why I'm fighting with myself. So let's just do that <laughs> on a tag. So this is some of the cursive, and again, this is my real writing. It's not like a computer font or anything. That's really me. And I'm going to take a stamp from this other set, this one. And I think we'll do this this round one. Kind of reminds me of an, a slice of orange. That's nice. It's fun to just take your stamps out every once in a while and just play with them and just make some tags, stamp some happy mail, something like that. So these are great. So you have all these different words and then two do doodle girls here. And then the last one that we have has three words on it and then it has some of these doodle shapes that you would see that probably if you've seen my other two first two sets of stamps they're reminiscent of those. And these are more pieces and parts. Um, there's a couple of images here that could be used as journal borders. And then the rest of these are intended to be stems and leaves or petals. So that you could sort of do a build your own flower thing, which is fun. Um, again, that tag is small, so let's get a bigger one. And let's build a flower. So you get a stem, and I'm going to use this petal, and I'm going to, I'm going to stay black, and I think I'm going to stay black. For right now, I'm just playing. Now these stamps are pretty detailed. And of course you could overlap the images on top of one another if you want and that would work if you're using different colors of ink. But if you're just using one color, you probably want to leave, a sp leave some spaces, otherwise the design's going to get too muddy. And you know, I'm going to just eyeball it. Because <laughs> that's what I do, right? So, I mean, you can just, and you can then go in and take Maybe another shape. Do I want to do another shape? I don't think I do. I think I want to stay with this one. And you might even want to put the center on first and then come in and add the petals. I don't know. It would be really fun to do this in different colors. Like that. Whoops. Well, it's messy. What do you get? It's what you get from a dollar fifty stamp pad. I would probably do that in a darker color, but again, I'm just playing, so it's not a big deal. So I have some other ideas to use these stamp stamps on, and that will be coming soon. But in the meantime, if you're thinking about doing something fun for Happy Mail, think about just playing with your stamps and some ink on some tags. These are a great insert into any journal page pocket or, like I said, Happy Mail, and you could write a nice note on the back. Um, if you do it in archival ink, then you can paint, color, draw, or whatever on top of the stamp. Um, or stays on ink. 
Um, if you want to buy any of my stamp sets, they're for sale in my Etsy shop. The link's in the description below. I have six set different sets of stamps um, if you're going to collect all of them. And I have more birds coming in, never fear. So you can go ahead and order them in all confidence, and I will let you know when they'll be in. That's it for today. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye.